My name is Jerry Marshall. I uh, run Germinate, the Arthur Rank Centre, and we put on the conference on behalf of the Churches Rural Group, which is part of Churches Together in England, and other partners, because part of what it's about is bringing together all the different agencies and denominations and networks involved in rural ministry, uh, because we can do so much more together, learning from each other. How have you enjoyed the day, Jerry? Because there's been a great sort of family atmosphere here. It's almost as if everybody already knew each other, yeah. although they didn't. So yeah, it's been some great. of them did, but a lot of them are new. Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I think the buzz about it is, is really good. And I think that's one of the things that people appreciate, the sort of connecting with other people in the same situation. They're not alone. And, um, and what we're trying to do is to encourage and inspire people. Um, it, it is, you know, it's draining, it's challenging to be in rural ministry, but there are great opportunities. Um, and so to help people try and find ways to find space to think strategically to, to do the things which they, they know are important but probably aren't urgent because all the other things take up all their time. That's part of what this is all about. And we've heard testimonies already here of people who've been inspired, enthused, it's challenged assumptions. There have been some interesting threads that have moved through it, taking risk, not despising small, uh, willingness and ability and, and, and license to fail, some of those things I've heard. Um, mm, mm. Are those the sort of threads that you're starting to think about processing yeah. already? Th they, those are really important themes. Um, I think there's often a sense in rural because churches are small that somehow it's failed and we sometimes use the phrase a satsuma isn't a failed orange um, and you know it's different in rural and that small congregation may be a much higher proportion of the uh, overall population than uh, maybe in an urban context. And then there's all the, the benefits of rural, rural churches are often the people are well embedded in their community and being able, helping them see what they do outside the church as it were, as part of their front line, a part of um, being salt and light in their community is really important. And then there's the opportunity from, from the seasons, that connection to the land, uh, the way that often people feel connected with the church, even if they don't go very often. There are lots of opportunities in rural. So um, uh, sometimes it's refreshing to be reminded of that, um, you know, because it is tiring and, and, you know, there are all sorts of little things which, which are buzzing around that take up your time and energy. You made the point very clearly that unless things change from today, then it will have been a waste of time, which is a pretty bold statement to make, but you could see people respond to that. Yeah. For you as an organisation, you've been through a bit of a rebranding, Germinate, the Arthur Rank Centre. That's very much the theme. People love that name, Germinate. In terms of going forward from here and maintaining momentum, you'll need a darkened room tonight, obviously, <laughs> but how do you keep that momentum going? Um, well, I suppose there are two issues for, for, for people here and then encourage them to do something afresh, maybe stop something, maybe do something with greater intentionality and start something afresh. Uh, for us, it, it's part of a process. We've had a Germinate listening event trying to identify what the key issues are in rural churches, of which discipleship is one. And the reason why this is a focus on discipleship is because that is key. Um, and behind that is developing the ministry of, of lay people. You know, I, th I think, dare I say this, um, the next decade is make or break for the rural church. Yeah. And one of the things we've got to learn is how to develop the ministry of lay people for ministry by the whole body of Christ. And, and that's actually quite challenging, particularly for communities that still have this sort of idea that it's, it's the vicar, that does, the professional yes. that does the stuff, yes. or the, the minister or whatever the denomination is. So moving that way is really important. So our prime task um, as an organisation is to work with others in order to help rural churches move in that direction of developing the ministry of lay people, developing discipleship, um, and then of course all the other stuff around it, ecumenism is, is one. How can we possibly work as separate yes. churches? Uh, if there are two churches in the village, work together. And of course many are. Um, in many ways the rural church is at the forefront of developing the ministry of lay people, forefront of fresh expressions of mixed economy, traditional church, there's a place for that, but also messy church, cafe church, men in pubs, whatever. And very outward facing, very missional, and yeah. that theme kept coming as well. Yeah. Mission is key as well, discipleship and mission <laughs> going hand in hand. Yeah. And all those creative ways in which people are being outward facing. Yeah, well what, what are we here for? You know, it's uh, love God, love your neighbour, and uh, go and make disciples in Judea and Samaria and Netherwallop and uh, Lower Piddle and, and everywhere else. You know, that's what it's about. We talked to Howard earlier, chair of your trustees. This week, following the conference, you won't have much chance to rest because you go straight into a, a strategy meeting with staff and trustees to think about going forward. So for you as an organisation, legacy and, and, and moving forward, um, what next? Um, you know, this is a highlight, but I, I talked about momentum. As an organisation, 
um, it must be an interesting time now for you to think, okay, we've rebranded, we've got to keep this going. Yeah. Um, well, we, there was a kind of five-year plan, which sounds very, very Russian, doesn't it? But uh, we've been developing resources like particularly Germanate groups, which is r affordable rural learning communities. And that's um, completing some pilots, the materials now there for anyone to pick it up and to facilitate that program. So we need to complete that. There's also Gemini Enterprise um, and there's the website which has been redone. Lots of things that are still ongoing. But as those start to get embedded, we can now think about what else, what other resources do we need to provide that rural churches can latch onto. And that's really what's happening uh, next week. Again, part of a process of figuring out what we can do. Quite a small organisation, but if we can encourage and inspire and equip rural churches uh, in whatever ways are needed, then the impact through 20,000 rural churches in the UK could be, uh, we could punch way beyond our weight. That's I was just thing. thinking of that phrase <laughs> myself. Um, yeah. So on reflection then, here we are, the end of the day, an aha moment, a light bulb moment, any any nuggets that you can <laughs> immediately identify? I think more kind of drained. <laughs> uh, 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 but um, um, no, I think there's, there's, there's so many things to go away with. I, mean, I was, love the enthusiasm for the ecum ecumenical bit yes. uh, and that's something to explore but also particular areas you know youth is something that we need to um, and, and some some areas are really tackling that how can we communicate in an appropriate way for uh, um, for teenagers and people in their 20s and 30s uh, you know the gospel doesn't change so the way we communicate it has to change so thinking afresh around that um, Lots of areas to get stuck into. Yeah, watch this space.